introverts, you don't have to raise your hands. <laughs> Anybody here from the Midwest? Where, where are you from? Ohio. Ohio. Minnesota. Minnesota. Other Midwest. Chicago. Chicago. Iowa. Anybody else? Midwesterners? So I grew up a lot of my life in Indiana. And so I, I consider myself, my Myers-Briggs is actually FFI. I'm a friendly, functional introvert. And the reason why, and when you're from the Midwest, we don't have mountains out there. We don't have oceans out there. We just have a lot of really nice people who just say hi. And what I've learned as I moved here to New England is that one of the things is that people here always think I'm an extrovert because I go up and say hi to them. I'm very, very friendly. It's nice to see you. How are you? But that does not mean I get energized by walking into the room of people I don't know, starting conversations that I don't know where this is going to go. I'd really rather be home networking with my remote control. So what I've learned is how to kind of make, make this work for my personality, because I don't want to change. I don't want to be an extrovert, but I do like people. It's not like I don't like you, I just, you wear me out. So what I want to share with you, and there's cards, we had, we handed out some cards on how to work a room. If by chance you did get them, I'll be bringing out some more, and there's a wonderful woman in the purple, if you want to raise your hands and you want to grab them, we've got about 10 or 15 extras. Also, if you want to, just leave your card on the table and I'll send you the PDF and the web link for this. But so what I want to share with you today is kind of how we're wired and why it matters. And so for introverts, the most important thing to say is just be you. Don't try and be somebody else. Anybody here happily married? Yeah? So tell me about your first date. Too many years ago. At the end of that date, did you get married? No. Notice how fast he said that. <laughs> There's a lot of people who do networking badly because what they do is they go in and they say, hi, I'm Diane, do you want to do business with me? I need to know right away. Now, what's your wife's name? Krista. Krista. If Krista came up to you that night and said, in your name? Adam. Adam, Adam, do you want to get married tonight? Do you want two kids or three? If my mom gets sick, can she move in? I mean, you freak out, right? You run. There's unfortunately so many people who do it badly. And what I want to do is just kind of help you rethink that I have two definitions of networking. One, it's building relationships before you need them. When I call AAA, I say, I'm Diane Darling, I'm a member, I have a Mini Cooper and my membership number is. I don't say I want to join. The second definition I have of networking is networking is the transference of trust. So when I say, please use my name, you're getting my trust, and I'm transferring it to somebody else on behalf of you. And so you want to understand how this works, and that's really what the authentic part of networking is. But unfortunately, so many people think of it as schmoozing. I explain that there's a big difference between socializing and networking. So the whole idea of networking here is I hope before you go to the next session, if you haven't already, you say hello to the people at your table. Anybody here been mugged at work camp? Yeah, you're a at work camp. Okay, and, and anybody here ever had somebody at work camp who said, I don't want to talk to you, it makes you think I want to talk to you. <laughs> but anybody here remember the name of the girl who was mean to them in sixth grade? Yeah, a lot of hands go up, right? So part of what it is is we have these memories of these bad situations when we talk to people. And the reality is all of you here today are friends you haven't yet met. So I want to really just kind of help you think about the whole thing about the introvert part of it is it's who you are if you are an introvert, and if you're an extrovert, maybe just be quiet. Maybe let somebody else do a little bit of the talking. The last thing I'll share with you is that right now we have so many cool tools, and one of the reasons why I think I have a lot of fun as an introvert, and it makes it so much easier, is I can tweet you. And I can say, I'm going to see you at such and such event. I'll look forward to seeing you. I'm wearing purple. And so then you get to, we get to meet each other ahead of time. So when we see each other face to face, it's like we've already met. So use a lot of the Facebook, LinkedIn. I'm in the process of converting my website right now to um, WordPress. I'm really jazzed about this process. I'm learning a whole lot. So part of what it is is I get to meet kinds of people. And so then when I see them face to face, there's already a connection. 
There's also a way I do it at the end where I say we met and here's who we are. And, I'm, and the great thing about these tools is I get to see your picture. It's not are you cute, it's like what was your name? Because I can't remember names. I have a really bad memory with names. If you want to, here's a little, little tip on how to remember names. If I gave you a hundred bucks for every name you remember, how would you meet people differently? And the main thing I learned from this is we would slow down. I talked to an Alzheimer's doctor, and he explained the difference to me about you can't remember names and you, you know, and all this sort of stuff because I was really afraid that I was going down that path. He said, do you know where your keys are? I said, yeah, they're in my right pocket. He says, do you know what your keys are for? And he says, if you don't know where your keys are, you're disorganized. That's fine. When you don't know what your keys are for is when you get worried. So part of what I want to share with you today is just have some fun, reach out and talk to people. One thing I actually encourage all of you to do is to shake a whole bunch of hands today. And maybe if you're courageous, give each other feedback. Because there's nothing worse than getting a bad handshake. And what happens is most people never even ever get feedback. That was too strong. That was too long. You have the car salesman handshake you're going to buy, you're going to buy today, you're going to buy from me. You've got the handshakes already starting out. So have an absolutely fabulous day. Leave your cards on the table if you want me to send you the links for that. And I look forward to seeing you later on. Thanks so much.